Graham's Family Mystery Mansion. Grandma here telling you a spooky story. Folk tales. <laughs> I always try to make these entertaining every time. It's usually getting harder now because it's been a hundred and something episodes and we're kind of in like, what, 45 uh, seasons? Ah, oh, God, whatever. We will continue as usual, and as usual, we mean we need to step up our game and talk about the posts. Let's jump into them. They say Robin Hood was well known for taking away the rich's treasure, rich treasures, and give them to the poor. Wonder if Wednesday will do the same in the outfit. One thing's for sure, she'll definitely take some smiles away. Anyway, you can take this you can get this outfit and others like King Arthur Gomez and Banshee Morticia as they are now available for our folk tales event. Yeah, pretty self explanatory. Next one. Hey there, spooky tellers. Here's a little peek at some of our new twenty plus decorations. Including the legendary sword and the stone, a spooky shrub, and Babe the Blue Ox. So, if you'd like some of them or are curious about the rest, they are all available now for a folktale event. Yep. Next one. Nope, these aren't Pugsley's pajamas. Let's just introduce you to Sandman Pugsley. And since we're in the tales mood for our folk tales event, let us tell you about the Sandman. It's an old story about a little man who puts sand in people's eyes, making them sleepy and dream. We did not say it was going to be a good tale. But if you do like our boy Pugsley's outfit, it's now available along with other folklore skins like Parker Kikimura and Grandma Baba Yaga. Yep, and then we have a video here about some animations, so... Hey there, spooky folks! Just passing by to show you some new animations that you can find in our Folk Tales event. In other news, could Gomez take the sword out? The answer to that is no. No, he cannot. And, uh, yeah, we get a bunch of other animations. Except for, no, 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 uh, Fester, because, uh, it you know, sucks to be him. Oh well. So, we got that. And now, let's go ahead to our last post. It's this one. Basically, I'm not going to read all that because that's too long, but it was basically talking about the, um, making folktales down in the comments and talking about it because, you know, I've, I've been talking too long and, uh, no, this post is too long, I'm not saying it. I'm sorry, you can pause and read if you like, but, uh, God forbid, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bore you with that. Right, so let's take a look at App B, and this is interesting because it's this, which Gomez with the sword and the stone, and this art has not been seen anywhere else. It's like it's specifically made for this particular, um, app icon, which I really don't know if they used it or not, but, uh, it would be interesting if they did, but uh, whatever. I digress, it's what they wanted to do. And speaking of which, I've decided to jump into the game. Let's go ahead and do that. It's taking place September the 8th of 2023. And, uh, well, I've made a lot of progress, let's put it that way. Hello and welcome back to part two, and I guess technically it's a finale, because as you can see, I got everything here already set up in the mansion. I cleaned up and, uh, oh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, whoops. Uh, the joke is that uh, we didn't get to see this in part one, so we're seeing it be at the beginning of part two, because, yeah, there you go. Anyways, hi, we're back. So good to get a sneaky peeky at um, exactly what's going on here, so we get a good look at what to expect and um, enjoy. Mandy must have actually changed the stuff before quite interesting but yeah some of these are going to be very hard to figure out how i'm going to set this up but you know i'll try my best figuring out the perfect stuff for this at some point so don't worry about that and uh yeah we get some good look that is a giant treehouse. Oh my god. I get the idea, but gee. Ooh. Man, uh, something tells me I won't be able to show everything off that I want. So, uh, yeah, at least we got a good look at that. Man, it sucks to be me. They get these cool-looking look, cool looking bushes, but I doubt we'll be able to put that much down. So that's kind of a lie. 
But what am I supposed to be expecting? This is the same thing that happened before. Yeah, so they they certainly changed this up a bit from before. Anyways, uh, we'll go back into the mansion. Nothing else new has happened just yet, but yeah. I guess that's the beginning of the first part, so that's cool. Now, the tailor is back again, and he seems to be offering um, the two new costumes as well as this. I don't know why he keeps on giving me this costume here. I don't care for it. I mean, he's going to keep on doing it until I buy it off of him, and he'll never come back with it again. But yeah, we got these costumes here. Um, I'm going to hold off. I'm just going to let it pass, because I'm, I'm going to just let the luck come to me uh getting some more bonds because of the boxes so that's cool that and the prize track so that's always great uh so we got that going on here um right so the other thing i wanted to talk about because i i can't really show it off because i already fixed it but the next time something's broken i'm gonna be um i'm gonna be uh looking at it because I think they changed the window icon for repairing stuff. Again, I'm 100% sure, but I'm sh I'm I'm positive that they actually did that. So what's going to happen is I'm going to look and make sure that's the case. If it is, I'll show it off. So, yeah. Until then, this is where I'm at right now. So... Eh, give or take, I'll get the lock table just fine. Not much of a great prize, but hey, at least it gets me to do something. And then, the quest line. Yeah, I'm going to be a while to get the this one. Ooh, yeah. But at least I have four of these ready, so that's, that's probably going to be achievable. Alright, so that's it for now. So a quick update... We are now on Saturday, and I have one, two, three, done. I'm currently working on getting the Veil of Death, getting the second one. After getting the third one, we will also continue with this, and getting this going. So yeah, quite interesting that we're going with the, the one that needs four of the rare items. In this case, it's the Burnt Marshmallows. But yeah, it's curious, but... Alright, whatever. Wow, I just decided to come down here out of curiosity because, you know, it's been such a long time. But look at this. They finally updated it. They finally added a bunch of stuff here. So we get a sneak peek at some stuff in the future, like the mushroom stuff. Like, oh, oh good. I can already see that's going to be a, no, a, a, a golem of some kind, right? I really do dig this. And then we got gold stuff here. Uh, and the miner's dead, so that's great. Got a nice pump stuff. Like, wow, they really did this a number here. They got some diamond golem type stuff. Nice tree colors. Weird demonic stuff. Some hippy dippy colors. Yeah, this, look at this. This is so great. And then they got the asylum stuff here, which is... Fun. We don't get to see animations, though, because unfortunately, you know, busy upstairs. But yeah, you got to get a good look at this. And then here's the new one. Which, uh... Yeah, wow, look at this. I really did a good job. This is real creepy. I love how this is shaping up. And yeah, currently, we got these here that have yet to be opened. But yeah, currently, for a year... Look at all this new content for this new land. Quite interesting. I'm going to go over to Assimilation just to see if there's anything different. But, um, yeah, I'm curious. So it looks like they updated this as well in some of the stuff here. There's some buildings I have not seen before, right? So we do get to see some stuff. Oh, looks like, uh, we get a different skin here. And, um... Yeah, just interesting designs for some of the stuff that we'll see in the future. And, uh, yeah, just curious. And, uh, oh, okay, so he has a costume. Interesting. I guess I have to look into that. 
And yeah, there is going to be something here for her for that, as I assumed. So we got a bunch of stuff here. Yeah, we've seen, we've seen Onion before with that. Yeah. I'm curious, indeed. I do love the- Oh, okay, there's a dancing skeleton too. Don't know who that's supposed to be, but he's able to take his hat off, so that's great. And uh, there's our dear friend. The new one that we just recently got too. Can't for the life of me remember who he was. <laughs> Teddy, that's it. It's just Teddy. Yeah, and then of course there's Cousin It in that train thing we got going on here. So interesting. Interesting designs. And then... Huh, Fester has a new outfit as well. Huh, you know what? I should probably, I guess, look into that type of stuff just to see the new costumes that got added. But yeah, and then the bug is bothering me right now. Alright, let me go in and see the new costumes and uh, show that off. Because I guess that was from last update that uh, we didn't get to show. Because they added it later on without announcing it. So I've seen Ringo. His is the new one in 20. The garbage collector. I guess he's more of a recycle man. And I guess it's slacking off. Which, that's what we saw there. Now... I'm thinking, who else? Does Gertha have something new? It looks like she does. Yeah, she does. Telegram operator. And it is, hello, anyone there? Okay. Now, I believe, no, Teddy, we already know he has nothing new. So that's okay. So, Morticia, Gomez. Wait, does Gomez have something new? No, he didn't. My bad. Yeah, but Fester does. Power plant worker. So it seems like it's about work for level 20. Change, Changing the battery. Okay. Oh, so I can do something new with gather lumber. But you need this. We're going to get that at some point, so I'm not going to go get it right now. Because there's no point. Really. At the moment. Wednesday, we already know. Puckley. Grandma has a... So, Grandma has a new skin, as well as Lurch. Let's just see Grandma real quick. Mm -hmm. Grandma's skin. Oh, Modern Magician for Hacker 19. And she does Deadly Trick. Okay, interesting. Good to know. Uh, let's say Lurch? No, he's the security guard, if I remember correctly. Let me just see this real quick. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, and we need the first bank in order to get that going, so we'll see that in a bit. But, um, so we have that. Let's see here. So, thing. So, Cousin It has a costume, which we've seen before. But she's saying Oaf has two. What? So, she has her two costumes here in the simulation after the fact. Okay, so that's obviously a glitch. So that's not supposed to be the case. Alright, well, interesting we find out. A quick recording just to say that I got this, um, now the witch tent. So we're there now. We just need to get the bark of Oishai. Yes, I pronounced it properly, I'm sorry. Um... Apparently, Lee Shy is what it's called, not uh, Leslie. I don't know what the hell's wrong with me, but that's to be expected with me. I'm currently working on the Veil of Death. They finished that off, so by the time I come back, we should complete that. Get this here. Get this log table, which is not a unique camp reward. Like uh, for these kind of requests, I've noticed that they they tend to have them be kind of like a eh, you know, if you want, you want it kind of deal. Not like an oh, I need to get this type of thing. And I think it's because if they did that, then people get upset because it's like, oh, I missed it, you know. So I guess they're trying to have it like something that's not too out there, but it's like, eh, you know, I can get it type of thing. So, so yeah, we got that going on here. So I'll be back with finishing this off and then other stuff as well. Right, so we should be back now, if I'm correct. Should have enough to get that. And we can start this off. How much of the leash I? Oh, I just need two, so that should be fine. Alright, so let's get this table. 
Yay, look, we did it. I feel accomplished. Oh my god, that's huge. I wasn't expecting this to be giant. Alright, well, I guess... Yeah, I'm gonna have to play around with this whole thing because, quite honestly, it's too much. I have to set this up for the pitchers. I guess that's gonna have to play around with that. All right, well that's it for now. So I shall return once we get the leash. Sorry, the leash I bark, and uh, we'll place the witch tent down and see where we go from there. Just making this quick note that I opened the epic box recently, the free one. And I got myself a true self card, so um, I should be able to get it just fine. Um, give me a sec. So let me just check her real quick because I want to see. Okay, so the legendary is going to probably be a long time, but I'm probably going to get the true self pretty quickly. So there's that. Right. So we should have the last of these Mark of Leishai. Yep. So that should do it, if I'm not correct, it, yep, okay. So now we just have to place the witch, witch tent and complete the story. So let's do that and I'll go after the bombs over there. This vengeful Leishai character, mm, do you think he's related to Ikapog? Well, they both come from the forest and can't exact revenge. Mm. So they're one and the same, no wonder he dressed it like him. Ichabod doesn't talk much about his family or his past. You know, he can't talk at all. That's too bad. I'd like to learn more about his roots. Get it? Ah, I see you've been hanging out with Pugsley there. Hey, Parker. Cool. Right. So let's get the bombs. After that. Also, I wanted to throw in something because, um... The... The creator of, um, or the game designer, um, actually talked about this. So what he did was the value of these, um, these packs, although it went down to 40, you're still getting the same value. So nothing's changed. In fact, like you see here, like this, so it's 6,000. So really, we're not losing anything as far as value stuff goes. He just wanted to make that clear. So interesting to note. Cool. All right. So, yeah, more boxes. That's fun. Yay. Oh, yeah. And the other thing, I asked him about the bundle. So he decided to change it this time around. So that way, it is the Fable Treasures. So the Fable Treasures, they decided to have this be like, oh, if you want to get items and whatnot, this is the bundle for you. So it's not like trapped with the, you know, so this, the three here are going to be my main focus, which is nice. It saves me on some money. So always good. You know, I'm still going to get paid, but not as much as before. Anyways. Scary snacks. Isn't there anything to eat out here? I'm hungry. Mm. Then go back to the mansion and fetch the food Lurch prepared for us, Pugsley. But Grandma, it's all the way over there. And I'm out here. Can't he just bring it to us? Mind your step on the way back. You never know what might lurk in the shadows. Ha! <laughs> you can't scare me. I hope I meet Alicia in the yard. They sound really cool. That's not really the person you should be worried about, Pugsley. I'm thinking of something truly terrifying, Pugsley. Like a school counselor. Oh god, no, that is terrifying. Ah! Why did you have to say that? Now I'll see you on behind every bush! Pugsley, I haven't heard you've been doing bad at school. Time to talk about it with your school counselor. Food supplier, hat of Robin Hood. Alright. So, food supplier, we have not passed yet, have we? Let me just see this. No, we have not. Alright, get the Robin Hood thing. Alright, that's gonna take us a little while, but we're gonna get there. Don't worry, it takes us small, but steady. And I'm gonna say this, that this, this update is gonna be quite interesting because of things going on in the crypts right now. 
Um, I have a few associates that work in the crypts every now and then, and uh, they're both taking vacation time, you know, rightfully deserve, you know, before it gets all cold and whatnot. Enjoy the last little bit of summer there is left. And unfortunately, that means that the responsibilities they had is now bound to me, so I have to do a lot more stuff. Now, will that be different to the videos? I don't think so. But it could. So, yeah. That's just something I have to deal with. But it might make some interesting commentary. You never know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Alright. Well, that won't happen until the weekend. So, that starts. And then I think it's all the way throughout this up update. It's going to be my downward to madness. So, because it ends on the 28th and they come back on the 28th. So, yeah. <laughs> Oh, God. Not like it's a hard work or anything. It's just... It just makes it... You no, know, it's more tedious for me. That's all. I'll make it work. Alright, getting closer to finishing... Uh, getting to level 18. Let's see if this works. Yep, there we go. So we got train station, railway, straight train, curved train, train wagon, locomotive, restaurant information booth... And then, topiary thing. Yeah, so we got a whole bunch of stuff here that we have to deal with at some point. Curious now. What are the new stuff? Here it is, so... Yeah, so it's just... Interesting. Nothing there. Uh... Okay, so there's a torpery bat, but uh, I probably don't get that just because I'm a sucker for it. But uh, we got the Skeletal King we have to get down at some point. But the uh, reason I'm here is, yeah, we got this finally. So we should probably put this down. <sighs> now then, what's the damage? Okay, so we need to get bricks. Water, which I know who can do that, and cement. So, Kitty is going to have to give us water as well as I think that can give us water as well. So, there's that. Cement can come through there, but we need bricks. There's a few characters that can give us bricks. That's, I know for sure. So, it's just a matter of figuring out who can do that. Oh, yeah, she's useless, so she can't really do anything right now. Um, or you can, but you can't really right now until it's built, so it's useless there. I know Gomez, probably. Where is he? I saw him in Yeah, there he is. You were hiding from me. Yeah, so do that. See you? No. Um, alright, I guess I'm gonna have to figure this out on my off time, but, uh, rest assured, it should be... Oh, she can do it, but needs that, so unfortunately, no. Same with you. No, doesn't have anything. She can with getting grounded, so do that. And see, yep, okay, cool. So I think I'm getting some people now doing this stuff. Alright, cool. Oh, what is this? Change the battery. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember because of that. Yeah, I forgot. Alright, so that's it for now. I'm going to try to see if we can get these supplies at some point. But I'm more or less focusing on trying to get... Um, what do you call it? There, There's a system in place to, to get the final quest going. Or a, the continuation of the main event story is what I meant to say. Sorry, I'm, I'm kind of out of it right now. Slightly stressed, but not by much. Anyways, I'll be back. Hello, you! It's Editing Grim here. Turns out, me being an idiot, uh, recorded this without my mic. So, uh, whoopsie daisy! Luckily, unfortunately, nothing really was too out there. Just showing you the Traveler Tours pack, and I was making a comment of saying how it's really creepy how they kind of make the pink ones. Like, it's kind of nice, but I really like the Ghost Train one. So, I don't know, I'm, I'm kind of a spooky guy. I don't really like Margot's pink nightmare disaster, but I guess with the Adams, it would make sense, right? I mean, it would be creepy regardless. Either creepy, you know, for me being good, or creepy because it's awful to them. 
Anyways, it's it's confusing. Let's go back to the clip now. The second uh, week for Saturday, which means it's about time we say hi to our dear friend Agatha. Looks like we got Hat Tower from St. Patrick's event 2021. Family Night event, which is interesting. A spontaneous Skeletor back from the Gardening Club. Freaky Food Fight Mystery Meat Mutation. The Pillow Gnome from last year's Nasty Nightmares. And the Frozen Fountain from 2020's holiday event. So, unfortunately, nothing interesting. Now, as far as deals go, let's see what we got. Alright, Spooky Tales is on sale. That's great. Is that the only thing, though? And the Horrifying Forest Pack is also available. Alright, so... That means both the packs... Yeah, it seems like everything but the Gold Pass is on sale. Hmm. Alright, well I guess we're gonna go with that. This is interesting. I wonder how that's gonna go. I'll get this later on, but uh, yeah, I have to go to bed, so I'll be back in a minute. Alright. I waited long enough. Let's get these packs. Spooky Tales and Horror Forest. So let's go with Spooky Tales first. Just like that, we are done. Good. Alright. Yes, thank you. I, I really am getting that. I already got that. Thank you very much. So we have a bunch of stuff to still do. Yeah, we're not going to get the gold pass just yet. Maybe next week. So we got Kraken. Yep, and that. Speaking of you, hello. So, we need to do this. And then we have this. Which, uh, oh dear, it's, it's certainly big. I'm having a problem this update. It seems like we just got so much big stuff. Yeah, I guess, you know, you're going to go here for now. Because I don't know where else I'm going to put you. So let's do the too cold. Yeah, thank you, the forest stuff. Alright. Let's just see this. Alright. She's going to go in. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I figured as much. She just kind of dips her toes in there. And she's like, ooh, too cold. <laughs> yeah. Not much of an animation, but we'll do this three more times just because... Yeah. Interesting, though. I'll give it that. I don't know what else to say. It's just, it's, you know, it's just, it's interesting to kind of watch this stuff. I do like the animation on the pool. That's kind of nice. I'll give it that. All right, cool. So, uh, this is here. So, if I do get that, that's cool. But, uh, yeah, I'm probably not going to be too hurt if I don't, if you know what I mean. So anyways, let's go look at the thing, which is right here. There he is. And then we need the this tree, which we have. So, I guess, yeah, I guess. So now let's go back to him for a minute. And let's do eating marshmallow. So he's over there. All right, so let's see this. Okay, that's weird. So he's on a string and he kind of comes down like this. It's not like he's eating a marshmallow. It almost looks like he's tempting somebody to get the to get the marsh the spooky marshmallow and then they grab it and they go ah you know climb up there. I also noticed the tree has different handprints of different colors. I'm sure this has to do with the lore of this thing, this this creature, but. I have no idea what it is. It kind of, like, I did mention this seems like Japanese and inspired because it sounds, it looks like a yokai of some kind. And it might be, but I have no idea. I could be mistaken, but yeah. All right, cool. And now we have to go to Socrates. And I have no idea if I have his thing or not, but I probably don't. Let's see this. Do I have this? I do. Okay, cool. All right, good. It's small and dinky, so this will work out. I guess, uh, actually, yeah, let's do that right. Can you not move? Thank you. There. All right, now let's go back to him. I already got your costume on. 
So now let's do the Unleash the Kraken. Oh good, we're going to have to watch him go all the way over there instead of like how Thing was where he just kind of jumped. I love it when they jump into the places that they need to go to instead of the whole, oh, now we have to wait. Because it kind of sucks that them waiting. Also, the pawn that um, Ophelia interacts with kind of looks like something else entirely. And it looks like he's kind of playing around with stuff. It might just be me, but I could have sworn that I think there's animation going on with the uh, down below. There's like something jumping up and down. Yeah. I don't know if that's supposed to be intentional or what, but yeah, it's just him playing with the little, little, little thing there. As if, you know, he's a giant octopus monster trying to attack the thing. But yeah, that's it's pretty much what you expect. So there you go. Right, so we got a bunch of stuff to put down. Um, give me a sec. Let me see exactly what... Uh, so not the... Okay, so we got that going on. Everything else is free game. So uh, what do we do is... Why don't we do the food supplies stuff? Because um, something tells me we're going to be... Um, you know... Um, completing this quest. I never mind the school counselor much before, but ever since I met your family... Hmm. Now your mother is very concerned that you speak with him? Yes, she keeps pestering me to meet with him. All the time. Well, we have that effect on people. Yeah, but why though? I don't get why you need to go see the counselor. If nothing's bad going on, then, you know, all that and more. Also, the Kikimori that Parker is, I found out what they are. They're like house spirits. So, if you, you know, if you have a good house spirit, then that's great. But then you can also have a bad house spirit. I know that uh, One Piece, I know I'm talking about an anime. But um, they also had something similar in, in ships that kind of have the same spirit type thing. So, basically, it's like a spirit of the house. So interesting. Anyways, tall tale fail. All right, so this is probably Paul Bunyan. Now my next story is about the great Paul Bunyan and Babe the Blue Ox. Paul was a monster of a man who carried a huge axe. I like this story already. He used this axe to carve out the Grand Canyon. Pretty impressive, huh? You mean the same Grand Canyon um, Pugsley blew up during the second movie? So much destructive power. It sounds like a giant I'd like to meet. Paul Bunyan kind of reminds me of uh, the one from The Simpsons with Homer <laughs> playing as him. Flapjacks! Oh! But, uh, you know, we have his stuff already, so it's not going to be too bad. Got so much bonfires, I don't really need it. And we have benches, so... I mean, I feel like I can put the one down. So, I mean... Oh yeah, I forgot. That doesn't need to belong here because it's one of the, uh, it's an event thing, so. Uh, no, I need to put it somewhere else, like, yeah, right there. I don't know why, I thought I had it there already, but, uh, okay, whatever. So, yeah, now it's clear up. There we go. Got some spooky things. So, we'll just put that down. Uh, tiki's, we can actually put more than one, so that's kind of cool. So, you know, we'll do that for now. Because I have no creative skills. I mean, I mean, that's to be expected. I have no idea how this is going to look as far as design stuff goes, but okay. Oh, hello, you. I said you look like a... Yeah, it's weird. I love that little animation that goes on there. That's creepy. I said he kind of looks like a horror, and he kind of does, but not... Yeah, it's creepy. I love the little animation they got going on there. That's... That's disturbing. What kind of monster is that supposed to be in the well? But... All right. Yeah, you can enjoy yourself. I feel like I need to keep that outside. I mean, when it's done. 
this and the and the bush monster here. I feel like that's that's too perfect. I think yeah, for now I'm gonna keep it like that because I don't think I can. I don't know where else I can put the bushes and the benches, so I'll leave that there. All right, now that we got that done, let's go ahead and uh, do the other pack, which is the horror for the horror forest pack with the uh, giant house. Oh boy. Okay, so we got this done now. Good. So now we have three costumes: the tree house, Mount Sand, archery target. Some more tiki stuff and more benches and bonfires and things of that nature, so that's cool. Alright, I'm going to put all this stuff down that we need to put down, but first... Yeah, we got that. My god, that's creepy, the leash shy. Robin Hood. Sandman. Okay. So, I think what we'll do for... Yeah, because he's going to need to... Yeah, we'll do that. And then get Pugsley. There he is. His Sandman outfit. self do dreams. Alright, let's see this. Oh, I see. So he kind of puts sand in his eyes already and he's like, ooh. <laughs> Falls asleep. Like, I love the little animation they got going on here, because they just had to reuse the sleeping animation. Yeah, that's, that's funny. Okay. Let's... Yeah. Alright. That's... I, yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting. I mean, I wouldn't say it's cute. I was, I was, for some reason I was gonna say, oh, it's cute. Like, they kind of did this like this and designed it, as in a way. And it's just normal sand, but I guess this is the Sandman sand. And I don't know the whole point of him having the umbrella. I'm sure in the lore there's something to do with that, but I can't for the life of me know why. Oh, sorry. Okay. Now then, let's do this here. The target practice, so we'll put it right here, I guess. Hopefully this won't screw up anything, but that's okay. Oh! I, I just realized something. If we go back. Yeah, you see Fester's now back where he belongs. And Pugsley's back where he belongs. Weird. I don't know why that happened in the first place, but okay. Target practice. So let's see this. Let's see this animation. And then I think we'll continue with... Um... Okay, so let's see this. Alright. Yep. Right in the neck. Ah, oh. I I get the animation here with the with the arrow and stuff, but it's kind of simple. It's not really as interesting as it could be, but you know it does its job. But I'm not too thrilled with it, if, if that makes sense. Hopefully, the leash is a bit better with his animation because we're gonna take a look into him. But yeah, all right. So there's that. One more. All right. Cool. All right. So now let's go to Ichabog. Let's do the leash eye. That's cool. And he's skin rejuvenation. The question is, I don't know where he is, and he's gonna be green now. So uh, only hope that we know that he's somewhere. But I can't. I can't. Um, be a hundred percent sure certain if that's gonna be the case though. Because you know there's everything else. If I can find him that'd be great, but something tells me I won't. And that bugs me a lot. Because I don't wanna There he is. Big tree monster. Alright, let's do it. Alright, skin rejuvenation. Alright, so he just shakes his stuff. Er, hold on. Okay. So... That... Really? He just shakes... He just shakes and things fall down. That's not really... Oh my god. 
All right, this pack sucks when it comes to the animations. I mean, Pugsley I like, but, you know, certainly isn't worth the much. God, just, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I thought it'd be something interesting, but okay, fine. I guess that's, that's something. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, so thanks for that. All right, so now, got a bunch of, we got this. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's no way in heck that I'm going to be able to put this giant house out and about. Can I do it like, no. No, I can't. So the only way I can do this is go downstairs and actually place it down that way. Which I guess is possible, but then it kind of defeats the purpose. You know what I mean? So you know what I'll do? The, um... The bushes and benches, and the, yeah, I'm going to put that um, after the fact, I think. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's interesting. That's all I have to say with how this whole thing's going to go about. But okay, so, um, yeah, I guess let's, let's go downstairs real quick just to see what the building looks like. Okay, we're back down here. So we're not going to put this down, per se. I just want to see what it looks like. So, treehouse. Yeah, it looks nice. It pretty much fits the decor. and It kind of looks cool to have. I just don't know where to put it. Unless, hold on. Ah, oh, can't really, because... Ichabog and whatnot. I was going to say, I could put it back in the behind. You know, I'm going to try to do that. In my off time, when a uh, thing is done, I'll put it in the back there. So that's what I'll tend to do. And then the other, yeah, the other stuff, I'm just going to leave as is. All right, so I guess that's it for now. So I'm kind of curious to see what the packs are going to be for next week. I'm assuming it's going to be the gold pass, I guess. It seems like it seems like this time around they're changing the way they are doing the packs and whatnot, which is good and you know we got the piles of leaves which is great but you know it's kind of curious to see how this turns out so i'm gonna continue with this i'm gonna get the axes and um when we do that we'll continue on with the quest line and i think that's cool and let me just double check here to see how much we have left so one two three four so one two three okay so i think what we'll do is we'll finish off this quest end it off there and then i think we'll continue with it i think that's the best action to kind of go about this so yeah we'll just do that so we'll just continue on with the opening of the boxes see how far we can get if we're lucky but um no guarantees yeah, so that's great. That's curious, too, by the way. Okay, so we do get the Banshee there. And, uh, so Banshee, we got, we got him. We also get King Arthur. Yeah. So, something else, too, I want to point out with the spooky tent here. The figure in there, I don't know why. I have no idea who this is supposed to be, but... For some reason, and I can't believe I'm about to say this, but it's given me the Babadook vibes. I know that's very odd to say, but yeah. God. That movie is somewhat interesting to you, just because of how... God, I always remember that one scene with the kids screaming. It's just like, why can't you be normal? And then you just see the kids screaming like crazy. Yeah, I figured as much. Cool. All right. So there's that. And, um, yeah. So I guess we're just going to continue on from there and just see where we go off. So we have 10 days left. So hopefully we'll be done with this. And we need to get just three more of these axes. So I'll, I'll try to come back when I got this done or something happens. Certainly making my sweet time with this. Unfortunately, like I mentioned before, due to working stuff. But 
can show you some progression. Namely, if I can find it, uh, this. Let's build a fire station. So we get to see the damage of how much we need. Should hopefully get enough for the coins, but we'll wait and see. I should be back with this, as well as uh, hopefully the main quest line for uh, holiday stuff, if you know what I mean. Not so much the catacombs just yet. So it's interesting that we got Fable Treasure Pack as a deal right now. Now, I think this is something new that they're trying to do, because I think I've seen this before, uh, and Snoopy. Snoopy's doing something similar to that, so yeah, weird that they're doing a deal in the middle here. But my hope is the gold pack is going to be the one for weekend, but I guess we're going to have to find out. Anyways, a few things to do here. Yeah, there's you. Thank you, I'm not caring. Um, I first want to take the address that, yes, I have been taking my sweet, sweet time with this. Uh, we haven't even moved to part three, and, uh, well, we have seven days left. So, really, you would think that I would have made my time, but as I mentioned before, we had some things going on, and, um, oh, cool, we got, got that. But, um, as I mentioned before... The thing is, I'm kind of busy with things, kind of like, the, the, you know, doing more different um, things on the side with responsibilities kind of makes it harder and kind of less the interest of trying to continue with this. I'm going to still continue, don't get me wrong, but with the more responsibility, it's kind of hard to kind of do these videos or get the motion to do them. Uh, I might as well also do all this stuff here while I'm at it. So all I really need to do is get the last tail thing. I'm going to see if I can probably get it, but there's no guarantees. But yeah, anyways, we should continue with the with this. But for now, let's just jump real quick into the simulation because we have something to take care of. <laughs> right, welcome this. That's great. Don't care. But the real reason we're here is because of last time when I actually did that over there. Good. Glad to see that's that's the thing. Anyways. Okay. Now then. Ooh, so close. But yeah, I'm going with this one because the other ones. I mean, why blue? I mean, it's unique, but nah, burnt one is for the wind. So that's going to be in part three, most likely. Anyways, let's continue on back to the mansion to finish the quest off. Right, so now, with that in mind, let's click this. Get that done. So now, we get the log, place it down. Finish this quest off and continue from there. So I think. Uh. Yeah, why not? There's only one problem with your tail, Grandma. An ordinary ox named Babe. That's no companion for such a powerful character. To be fair, Wednesday, the ox is big and blue. I think a hellhound would be more fitting, comrade. Gee, thanks, Wednesday. Anything else you want to workshop about my story? Yeah, I, I wanted to do a witty commentary there, but I, I didn't know what else to say. I just wanted to let the story write for itself. So nothing really going on there. All right, let's continue. Let's finish this. A little Kikimora. Okay, cool. So they're going to be talking about this. In the old country, there were spirits called Kikimura. Were they good spirits or bad spirits? It depends, Parker. That's the thing, Parker. Kikimura can be good or bad depending on the homeowner. So if there was one at the mansion, it would be all bad then, right? I mean, I guess. Alright, so now we're getting Evil Spirit Broom, Veil of Death. Which, none of the characters actually drop right now, so... I guess we're gonna have to do this. Eek. This is gonna be 
hard to kind of get this stuff going. But I'll try my best. Anyways, I think that should end part... Oh, never mind, at least that one's going to be easy, but, um, yeah. Alright, so with that in mind, I guess this will end part two to this update. Yeah, it took me my sweet, sweet time, but hopefully part three can go on through. I should get this done, but it's going to be a little bit hard. Again, if I have to rush through this, so be it, but yeah, I just, I don't know. <laughs> Life has some problems, but hey, I'll get as much as this done, so uh, don't worry, I'll, I'll try my best. How about that? Wish me luck. And that was it for this part two to this nightmare monsters of a, of an update type of thing. And, uh, man, I've been really out of it. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, God, you got, you have no idea how this was hard during this time because of, man, more work to do behind the scenes. It's just, it was a mess to the point where I didn't get all the stuff I needed to get done. In fact, to the point, I'm going to point this out now. If you look at my, um, thumbnails for this one and part three you'll notice that the uh name folktale looks a little weird that's because i had the deadly reunion uh on there by accident so i had to place it on top of it and i you know i don't save my old things so i'm like oh, screw it i guess i have to do this wonky mess so yeah this this whole update's been wonky but it's not the game's fault it's my fault with the What's been going on behind the scenes, but I digress. My favorite word. Hello! Uh, let's go ahead and finish this. I've been Grim, and this has been the part two to the Folktales event. I'll see you next time in part three of the finale. Which you'll be surprised how short that one will be.